Hey y'all, I'm Eric. And I'm Dave. Hey, good to see y'all again. We're gonna be analyzing a song with y'all tonight. A little uh, Beatles tune. Uh, and I would like to point out, we call this show uh, Reselect. Oh yeah, there's that part too. Uh, tied to the uh, music blog of the same name that I've written for a few years now. And I'm not sure if there will be any direct connection between the two, but you know, kind of like the idea. Could of happen. Could reselecting, could reselecting great songs all over again. That's my. That's what we're trying to do. That's kind of the mission. And we're we're doing it lyrically here. That's right. I'm ready to analyze song. Analyze is that the term we want to use? We want to like uh, check yeah, out a song. Yeah, I just talk about, discuss. Talk about. We're gonna talk about. A song. Make fun of occasionally. You know, it's, yeah. it's a little bit of everything. So this will be an easy one to make fun of, I think. No. I'm what? not making fun of the Beatles, my favorite group. Well, I mean, you know. Well, we're not going to make fun of them, ever? Well, I think we'll have a good laugh over some of the lyrics, but I don't know, making fun is the right word. Okay. Anyway. I don't like to say it that way. Okay, Excuse so anyway, uh, starting with, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get right into the song here. So it starts out, here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. I yeah. imagine he has really long arms too. He's like swinging his arms as he's going. Oh, you know, up. I picture that guy from the seventies, you know, that cartoon character with the exactly way out there, like what was that? Keep keep on Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. <laughs> keep on trucking. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's, That's what, what I, I picture. They were probably singing about that guy, weren't they? No, they were probably before that. They that came out after that, right. I think. I'm just making pretty sure. Yeah, you know, but uh, but that's why they picture also, yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, I do want to point out that uh, those lyrics are uh, influenced or almost directly taken from a Chuck Berry song, uh, You Can't Catch Me. I've, I've heard that somewhere mm -hmm. before. Uh, at least the part, Here Come Old Flat Top. Uh -huh. the, uh, I believe it goes, uh, Come Moving Up On Me or something. So I think it's talking about cars there. Like so you're, you're just pulling up. Chuck Berry liked to talk about cars a lot. You're you know? Oh, yeah, I guess he did. Yeah. So you're sticking with the whole car theme. I, I imagine the guy walking, but, you know, I guess it could be a car or something. Yeah. There's that whole song he has no particular place to go where he the whole song is about him driving his girlfriend around and trying to they, they pull off at a, a parking spot uh -huh. to make out, but he can't get her out of the seat belt. She's stuck. <laughs> it's an awesome song. It's one of my favorite type of song. And you know, and they have to end up they end up driving home and it's the whole night for nothing. I wouldn't sing about that. I don't know how he gets her out of the car though at the end. I mean that's huh. I don't know. His dad come, her dad come comes out with a saw. <laughs> okay, but we're moving off tub subject here. But so shotgun. <laughs> and he gets that seatbelt off right That's away. Right. Uh, so anyway, getting back to uh, come together. Uh, anyway, they, they, John Lennon was a big Chuck Berry fan, and that was oh uh, where he, yeah. He, you knew this about him, eh? Yes. Yeah, he, he pulled that from that song on purpose. Hmm. The direct reference. Huh. Uh, so moving on, he, he got Juju Eyeball. So who is this singing? Is this John Lennon singing John, this song? Yeah, John yeah. Generally speaking, they, they sang the ones that they wrote. Okay. So, and, and he wrote hmm. this one. Because that's the kind of guys they were. Yeah. They wrote together, I mean, you know, especially in the early days. But then as they got farther along, they, they wrote more individually, even though mm -hmm. they continued to call it Lennon-McCartney. Um, but even when they were writing together, they... The songs tended to be more one or the other, and uh, they sang generally the ones that were mostly their songs. Hmm. Interesting tidbit about the Beatles. So uh, he got Juju Eyeball, J-O-O-J-O-O, -O -O -O, just in case you're wondering about the spelling there. J-O-O-J-O. -O -O -O. Although that could be anybody's interpretation. I'm not sure if that's the official yeah, spelling. Yeah, you have to go back to their... Yeah, the handwritten lyrics. Um, he won Holy Roller. Wait, what was it, Juju Eyeballs? Yeah, let's, let's go back to the Juju Eyeballs. And that's what makes me think they're not talking about a car all of a sudden. No, I don't road. I don't think John was interpreting this as a car, although Chuck, Chuck may have was. Been. John turned it into this guy. He has Juju Keep on trucking guy who's got. Juju Eyeballs. I kind of picture this like bugged out. Is that what Juju means? Not necessarily, but. Juju, Juju Bees is the candy. Yeah. I, I'm thinking Juju Eyeballs means like he's like. Obviously, like. Stayed up all night drinking. Ah, liquor, smoking, smoking dope. Mm. <laughs> it's like a messed up eyeball, like like bloodshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, that juju eyeball. Could be, could be. I don't know. Did people say that back then after that song came out? Know. Hey, you got juju eyeball. Maybe. I'm gonna say. I was I was just a lad at the time, and as you as were you. 
<laughs> so I, I don't know if I've ever been a lad. Nobody ever said that to me <laughs> when I was a lad. I, I grew up in Texas, man. We were lads. You know, me and Ireland. For God's sakes, man. I was a laddie. <laughs> I'm not even Irish. Not the lassies. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Juju Habo, anyway. So he, he won Holy Roller. All right. As in, like, won, not he didn't win a Holy Roller. So. Oh, Holy Roller, of course, being won. like, you know, a, a born again Christian or something. So, so some born again Christian as Juju Abo? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know, they're kind of uh, hypocritical sometimes. No offense to anybody Maybe he was born handling, again out there. But, he was handling uh, serpents. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what those religious people do, man. They handle serpents. Oh, okay. I guess they could have, but... Yeah. Um, so they get bit and then get juju eyeball after you get bit. Maybe a bit on the eyeball and... That would really suck. Maybe juju, like, there's, like, gunk, like, dripping out of the eyeball. Oh, that sounds really awful, awesome, man. Yeah, right. Let's move on. We should move on beyond the <laughs> third line of the song if we're ever going to finish this. <laughs> you know, so that's pretty... 40 miles It's later. a fun song to talk about. So he's a holy, ro holy roller. That's, yeah, yeah. You know, that's pretty straightforward, I think. But he got hair down to his knee. So actually... How could he be like? I'm kind of picturing a Jesus type, like a. He's got like this Jesus complex, and he's like not just a holy run. I like a born again Christian, more like like a spiritual. Oh, you know, right. like a. Well, is this about the era they were like hanging power. out with? The, yeah, you know the. the, the, the not that. Uh, what was what that? Uh, the uh, Maharaj. Yeah, the yeah, Maharaj when you go to like, yeah, ashram the, and all that the, stuff. Um, it was. I think he wrote it around that time. Yeah. yeah. He recorded it a little bit after that, but. I really like the way it goes and tells you. Got hair down. Maharishi, not Maharaj. I knew that wasn't right. To his knees. <laughs> One oh, thing oh. I can tell you. No, no, no. You're no. jumping ahead there. Come on. They got the lyrics right here. Well, you know, man. I'm just... <laughs> well, sometimes it's fun to work. Uh, got to be a joker. Me. He just do what he what he just do, do what, what he you please. please. No, that's what he please. Do what you please. Somebody, oh, somebody got the lyrics wrong yeah. here, but uh, got to be a joker. He just do what he please. Right. Well, you know, he's, he's he's a confident kind of guy. He just does whatever the hell he wants. He got hair down to his knees, man. Yeah, that's pretty long hair. Yeah. I wonder how long it takes to grow hair to your knees. Be long. My mind wouldn't actually go to my knees. Mine would just go like, <laughs> that's the way my hair grew. It's just out. <laughs> you got any pictures? I do. That'd be really I'm awesome. I'm not showing them right now. But, uh, <laughs> maybe send down a later show. Show a picture of me in high school. We want some my, votes, right? Yeah, I'll vote. Uh, it never got, you know, like that. But. Anyway, um, he wear no shoe shine. I don't either, no, so I don't know. big deal about that. Really. He got to. toe jam football. That's just gross. I, I, okay, so. So I know what toe jam is. Yeah, it's the stuff between your toes, and it's really gross. Toe jam football. He's got Isn't nothing to be made kicking out? around. That's disgusting. Yeah, we, we, we can look at it the gross way. Like, okay, it's this thing made of toe jam, which is really repulsive, you know? <laughs> Which is basically just lunch, I don't right? think that's it, man. No, well, he's got toe jam football. The other possibility is that he kicked a football and has jammed his toe. Toe jam. Toe jammed football. playing football. And he's just kind of like right. tightening that phrase up a bit. And I get, you know, I'm pretty sure that line isn't. I don't think he played football closely. much anyway. But that's it's not necessarily autobiographical. Yeah, you, so. Those guys back then when they played football, they didn't have soccer. Down and it wasn't football anyway. It was soccer. But in, in the in the UK, that's true. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Well. Uh, he but it's only been the recent past that even NFL football players grew hair that went up past their helmets. Yeah, man, yeah, I don't remember too much back in the old days. But what does that have to do with this? <laughs> well, he has hair down to his knees, and he's playing football. That we were talking. Oh about, yeah, so. yeah. I don't know. Damn football. Doesn't quite jive with me. Well, again, football uh, certainly would mean soccer back then in England. So. All right. But even, that doesn't really that. help us with the understanding of this song, I don't think. But. Wait, what's wrong with this? Nothing. This is kind of fun. <laughs> to mock. So is this. It's fun to do. Uh, so he got monkey finger. So he's got toe jam football. <coughs> monkey finger. Monkey finger. What does it mean, Mon monkey fun fingers? Just finger. Singular. Monkey finger. Yeah. One of his fingers so he might have it like hanging around his neck. Maybe some sort of like weird voodoo kind uh. of thing. We're getting quite a picture of this guy here, you know. You're getting quite a picture, man. I was like talking one of his well, fingers resembles like, like really long and he's like mm -hmm. can 
get ants yeah. out of trees. Uh, that's that's probably more what it is, really. It's got this weird, weirdly flexible finger that you can like hang in a branch by. You know, <laughs> just, just one that's finger. a lot better than saying he has a dismembered finger from some monkey <laughs> hanging around his collar. There are just many interpretations. That's what's fun uh, about songs, yeah. you know? Okay. He, he got shoot, monkey figures. He shoot Coca Cola. That's got to be a drug reference, right there. That's got. I mean, he's not like yeah. shooting BB guns against Coca Coca Cola yeah. cans. I mean, he's. That explains the juju eyeball. He, it would. Yeah, maybe the monkey fingers too. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, that could be. He uses cocaine. That's it. That's, that's it. That's his monkey finger. He's the one who shoots Coca. He shoot Coca Cola. Well, I mean, does Coca Cola mean finger. cocaine? You don't really shoot cocaine, do you? I mean, yeah. Like, you more snort it. But you can chew cocaine, I understand. It's like free basin or something Probably. like that. But well, who knows? But, yeah, it's, Anybody want to educate us out there? Yeah. Feel free. Uh, he say, I know you, you know me. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. That's what you were Yeah. Yeah. I, fair enough. Uh, I mean, you know, I'll I know you, that. you know me. We're all in this boat together. We all know each other or not. We're free to make YouTube videos. You're free, yeah, exactly. And you got to be free. That's uh, a common John Lennon theme, really. It's yeah, free. not a whole lot to interpret right there, no, is there? Pretty hey. straightforward. Come together right now over me. That's the party we're all waiting for, right? <laughs> that was. Yeah, you were probably wondering why we didn't do that to begin with. Should have, actually. We should have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Moving along, he bag production. He bag. He bag production. B a g bag. He bag. He bag. He doesn't have. He just. He doesn't do. He, he just, bag. He bag production. He bag production. He got walrus gum gumboot. <laughs> okay, so he bag production. Maybe he could like. He produces bags. He puts maybe, the maybe. marijuana in the bags. Ah. Or the cocaine in he the little bags. He bags the production. Takes it to his supplier. And a walrus. From his supplier. Something or other. What was the next one? He got walrus gumboot. Um, How about the next line? <laughs> I know, a, a gumboot. Well, here, let's say a, a, gum, oh, you know a gumshoe. What, you know something about a gumboot? I, I'm, today I was wearing uh, those desert boots. What do you call them? Uh, Clark desert boots. They got gum soles. Okay. And it's a boot. All right. That could be a gumboot. Gumboot. I, I always thought that meant you the gumshoe was out walking on the streets all the time. And so he'd step gummies. on bubble gum and people spit on the sidewalk and that's how you get gumshoe. It could be. Or a gumshoe is someone who walks around a lot. Yeah, well, a detective wasn't. Yeah, a yeah. Detective was a yeah. I don't know. I don't know where the walrus comes in because you didn't use walrus to make shoe leather. I never bought any pair like that. <laughs> That'd be. Mm. That'd be sad. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, walrus. Well, we're going to have to move along from that one because yeah. I don't really. He got Ono oh, sideboard. Is that what kind of sideboard? Oh no, as in Yoko. Yoko. So sideboard means she's on the sideboard of the car. Maybe she's like hanging on, like yeah, woo. <laughs> as they're racing around in his Rolls Royce, which he had at least one of. Is that right? Yeah, he had this big. I think it was a white Rolls Royce. It was pretty cool. I've seen it actually. Huh. When I was. When there. would you have seen it? Was it touring or something like that? Um, it was on display. Somewhere, and I forget huh. if it was, I don't think it was England, though. I think it was, uh, oh, I think maybe the Smithsonian. Correct me if I'm wrong, or tell us if uh, if you know. But I think it was maybe the Smithsonian. But it was, it was pretty awesome. Maybe it was a car show. I don't hmm. know. Maybe this isn't the time to try to remember that, but... Um, so was there any know. gum on, you know, this one, that would answer our question. Were there any gum, gum on the brake pedal or the accelerator? Oh, that would tell us a lot about the gumshoe. <laughs> uh, so the Ono sideboard, yeah, that's just his car and Yoko's. Yeah, Yoko's Ono would hang out on the driver. He won Spinal Cracker. Well, okay, there's a couple of ways to look at this. He eats crackers made out of spine. <laughs> spinal, spinal Cracker. Spine. No, that, that's not at all. <laughs> uh, no, what I was really going to say is he he's a tough guy. He's like cracking spinal cracker. spines. Oh. He's like beating people up. But how could he be? This is like this Jesus freak who's got hair down to his knees. He sounds like, you know, just doing his thing. He's grooving. He's not going to go around cracking He grooves up slowly, spines. man. He doesn't like crack people's spines. No. no. Maybe he's talking about a different guy now. I maybe, suppose it's possible. Maybe. It seems to me the first verse was about this. About the whole time. Yeah, the, well, I don't know. The first guy was the easygoing, 
hippie uh -huh. type. Uh -huh. This guy, he's got no shoe shine. So, so when, when he's got toe jam football. When he's did we switch soccer. persons here, though? Oh wait, I, oh no, that's the first guy was all that. I, I think he bagged production. I think that's when the new guy comes in. Maybe, uh, maybe he's the drug drug dealer. So the the hippie guy. You know, perhaps, perhaps there's something later on where they like get into a fight or something like that. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe there's a chase scene too. <laughs> <laughs> the Rolls Royce runs over yeah. the groovy guy. And Yoko's like, hair. yeah. <laughs> That's what she's saying on the sideboard. <laughs> Faster. Um, Step on it, John. Do, do, do. Yeah. That's what Yoko does. So he's a spinal cracker. So uh, I guess he's a tough guy. This, this guy, he's, right. he's... We'll go with that. I don't know. He got feet down below his knee. Yeah, that's a funny line. That... I would say most people do. So I don't think How that unusual. tells us, that doesn't tell us most much about. Uh, about maybe, his maybe he's like really really tall, and he's trying to say down below his knee below is his many feet. Like, really, yeah, he's like as far <laughs> below his knee as possible. So, yeah, that could be. Hold you in his armchair. You can feel his disease. Uh, give me the skeeves right mm, there. Yeah, I wouldn't sit in his armchair if he. Yeah, he's got toe jam and all kinds of fun uh, shit going on. The place probably smells too. <laughs> <laughs> Come together right now. No, okay. I ain't getting near that guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna come together <laughs> with that guy. <laughs> anyway, you go come together with somebody else. And then it goes right. And then so you it's Roy. Like, it's like the bridge and the side. <laughs> <laughs> and the song kind of goes on a bit. And then they come back to a new verse. He roller coaster. You know, when he's grooving up slowly, I imagine him walking up and down hills. Yeah, so maybe so that's like, still, maybe uh, we're back to that guy again. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's like roller coastering up and down the, the, the bumpy hills of London or wherever. And, uh, or he's riding a roller coaster at a, an amusement park. He roller coaster. Or it's like he's rolling a coaster. And that's a, <laughs> a, a like catchphrase for like, a, a, you know, like oh. a coaster. Hey, you want to smoke a coaster? Yeah, roller coaster. He's rolling a coaster. Sure. Uh, he got early warning that the police are coming, maybe, because he's rolling the uh, yeah, He has, like, people that he knows that let him know. Yeah, he got an early warning. Yeah, yeah he's got lookouts. Yeah. He's got, he's got a mole. He got muddy water. Now, they capitalize here, but I don't know if that's, you know, I, obviously, when you say muddy water. Reflection, too, yeah. Muddy water. Mr. B or Mr. Blue's guy. Yeah. Uh, so maybe he's got a muddy water... Uh, Album he likes to play while he's well, like he, cracking he, people's spines. He, he liked that um, other fellow you made a reference to earlier, the flat top guy. Chuck Berry. Yeah, you go. Yeah, well, I'm sure John appreciated muddy waters, and but if it meant muddy water, it could be other things. It could be like some sort of uh, drink. Uh, chocolate. Uh, chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the chocolate milk, you know. While he's <laughs> rolling his joints and. I don't know, cracking spines. Roller coaster. He won Mojo Filter. Uh, it could be a, a filter on a cigarette. Uh, mojo. Mojo you filter. Know, you got my mojo working. Well, he's got muddy water, so he's a filter of the water. He's got a mojo filter. Oh, yeah. He's got a, It's just this, like, it's like this Brita. I, I see those right. in the stores, actually. Yeah. The Brita Mojo Filter. <laughs> see? <laughs> You're just pouring your muddy water. Next thing you know. And next thing you know. That's, here you go. This was... Muddy water in here. But. That's right. We put it through the mojo filter. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> Get yours today. And we're not affiliated with Brita Mojo Filter. <laughs> he say one and one and one is three. Right. Who wouldn't really? I mean, Simple math. Yeah. Unless you're really bad at math. Yeah, I know a couple of two-year-olds that may not That's true. They probably would, they would go one and one and one. They'd put up all these other fingers. <laughs> Stupid. But that, just... yeah. Got to be good looking because he's so hard to see. Yeah, right. Because so he's very, so hard to it's see. It's a very Not, charitable assumption. I mean, if he's so hard to see, why would you assume he's good looking? Yes, yeah, because, you know, you're, you're writing a song, you're in a good mood. Sometimes good looking people are like just, well, they're so good. You just don't want to look, look at them dead on because it's just like overwhelming. Can't turn your eyes away. <laughs> right. Well, no, but you know. But, like, the, but then you do You don't want to stare. Away. So maybe. Not staring is... Maybe he's worried about getting the spine broken so he stops looking. Oh, that could be it. No, no, he's 
Oh yeah. Is it? <laughs> Which are we talking about? I, don't know, I forget now. Um, that toe jam, man. That shit stinks. <laughs> Come together right now over me. How do you spell that? Actually, I've always wondered. I couldn't quite tell if he does that with his mouth or it's some combination of like guitar and drum. Yeah, because it does have kind of a reverberating sort of quality to it. If you listen in your headphones, it starts to change the way it sounds. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's the song. Well, now you know everything you and might ever want to know about that. There'll be a lot more than you ever yeah. cared to. And uh, please leave your uh, leave your own interpretations in the comments. Sure. And, and you uh, can see those. You can make fun of us as much as you want. So nicely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward and, to seeing you next time. Uh, next time we'll have another good song for there you. There you go. Goodbye.